Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the SDL2 C++ programming series. And in this lesson, I am going to show you how to build SDL2, the TTF library and the mixer from source. So regardless if you're on an Apple platform, Linux or Windows, this will be hopefully of use so you can see how to build these libraries from scratch. But I'm going to demonstrate it from the Apple machine because that's been frequently commented in the comments below. So thank you for those folks who are commenting. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see what we're going to learn in this video and how to get SDL2 running everywhere that it can compile. All right, let's dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download and install from source SDL version 2.0 and any version beyond for this tutorial on my Mac M1 here. So go ahead and take a look at that here. This is the version of Mac I'm using. As you can tell, it's an Apple uh, Silicon or the M1 chips. And this should also work for Intel chips or any of the other ones. Just go ahead and follow these directions either way. So we're also going to be installing some of the other libraries like the True Type Font Library, SDL TTF, and the SDL Mixer. Okay. So before we get started, what I want to go ahead and show you is if you've been following along in this repository here of my SDL tutorials, uh, I'm just going to pick one of the build scripts that I have here. Uh, you'll notice I do have some command line here for setting up and again, installing the different mixer frameworks and so on. But uh, I actually just want to show you how to use that uh, from source. And we're going to be using a tool called SDL config again, which we get when we download and install SDL from source. So let's go ahead and just download the source code here. Uh, so again, not through runtime binaries or the libraries or anything like that. But again, we're doing everything from source here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and work with SDL. And then we'll want to also download the source code for the true type font library and the mixer uh, library as well. So those will all be in our downloads folder. So let's go ahead and just take a peek at those in downloads. And let's go ahead and navigate into each of the uh, SDL uh, libraries as such. So let me go ahead and actually just uh, open up these archives here. So I'm going to do so by just double clicking on them. In Mac, they make it very easy. Go Mac. And now we have those libraries. So we're going to want to do these in somewhat order here, again, starting with SDL2. Uh, so I'm going to navigate into the library here. And typically what I'm going to do is just make a uh, build directory to set this up. Um, and then let's go ahead and just cd into that build directory. And from this build directory, if I want to, again, compile the libraries, the easiest way to do that is, again, to make that build directory cd into that build directory wherever you are. And then I will just go ahead and run the configure tool. So uh, that's in one directory up here. And I'll go ahead and hit enter here. And configure is a sort of build system tool that will check your system for various components that exist. If you don't have configure for some reason, uh, it's likely you can just do a search here, mac install uh, configure, and you'll be able to find uh, how to do that here. OK, so let's go ahead and continue. So now that I've run configure, though, what that's essentially built for me is a make file in this build directory that I can run here. So then I'm going to go ahead and run make. You can do a parallel build here, uh, which I'm going to do just to speed things up a little bit. So that should be running with eight threads. And we'll just give it a few moments to build. Now, there might be a few warnings. If you get a few warnings or errors, you can try to build. And then I'd recommend doing a build without the parallel build. Uh, but that looks like it worked. Now, we're not quite done yet. I'm going to now run another command here called sudo make install. Uh, and I'll clear the window here, hit enter my password. And basically what this is going to do is set up the various paths for our tools. So the SDL uh, library, for instance, it'll create a uh, link here. We can actually look up through some of these commands uh, that were run here uh, for make install. But basically it's just setting up where all the paths are to the different files so that we can reference them uh, within our build system easily. Uh, now, the one sort of important thing that building from source gave us is this SDL to config tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it here. 
Um, and in fact, let me go ahead and um, just make our, uh, well, let me just run it here, just so you can see the usage. And again, it's gonna show us the path to our libs, our include folders, and overall just make things uh, easy for us. So if I do libs or something uh, like this, um, oh, and let me actually just run dot slash config here, uh, or SDL2, excuse me, <laughs> and then it'll uh, run here. Um, and then you can see again, this is where the libraries for SDL2 were installed here. Uh, and I can do the same thing for C flags to see all the C libraries where our include uh, and headers are and so on. So you can go ahead and see those various uh, things and how they've been set up. And then of course I can run uh, both of these at once and you can see what's uh, pasted in here. So again, what that's gonna allow us to do if I jump to one of our projects now, uh, and just so you can see the structure of this project is we'll be able to run G++, um, or since I'm on Mac, let's go ahead and use Clang the standard uh, C++ library that we're using. Make this a little bit bigger. Um, I'm actually passing in a flag here for Mac. I'll show you where that is uh, in the source code in a moment. The source uh, files that we are compiling, which are in slash source and our CPP files, the include libraries that we have, uh, and then our output, which is going to go in bin slash prog. Um, and I'll just hit enter. And again, you're gonna see that we're missing uh, a whole bunch of these libraries here. Now, um, we're gonna need the actual SDL uh, libraries here. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you. Um, I'll go ahead and show you in source and main, or actually um, one of the other libraries here, uh, include and dynamic text. Again, I have this define here. That's what that capital dash D was. So it'll find particular libraries in particular locations. Um, in fact, I should make this just the uh, angled brackets because uh, we're going to put that include on our command line. Um, and that's how it's set up. So for my Linux builds, you'll see me just, it's searching these paths by default. Uh, Mac, I have a uh, more specific location for some of those libraries. But anyway, this is where we're at uh, so far. Now, again, using that SDL2 config tool, allows me to then just pass in the C flags and the libs uh, after here, and that'll take care of my SDL2 libraries regarding uh, just the actual SDL2 libraries. But we are still missing SDL TTF uh, as well as the mixer library, which uh, we'll install now. So we have our build for SDL2 completed. Okay, now let's go ahead back to our downloads folder and CD into uh, SDL2, and let's take care of the uh, true type font library. Again, doing a build here. Now we should always probably look at the readme to see what it has, uh, and it basically says the same thing, run dot slash configure, we'll get a make file, and then we'll want to do make install here. So configure, and it's just going to take some time to look at our system, make sure that we have all the packages that we need, and eventually give us this make file. So we'll go ahead and type make. Uh, I can do it with multiple threads again. And it goes pretty fast. And I'll type in make install. Now usually you need root uh, permissions, so get some error or permission denied. So sudo make install because it's changing system paths so that it can find your library. So you can see this. Um, if you ever want to get rid of it, you can usually run uh, make clean or make uh, uninstall um, if, in case you ever need to uh, do a cleanup. Okay, so now if I just do an ls here, let's see what was made. Uh, again, we have our SDL TTF uh, header library, so we'll probably need uh, this path somewhere. Um, and we have our uh, SDL TTF library that was also uh, built here. So uh, really quick, let's go ahead and see uh, where was that installed. And let's see. I just SDL2, um, I guess not in this uh, folder. So actually, let me rerun the make install just so we can get an idea of where it was installed. Um, probably in lib somewhere. Um, it says libraries have been installed in user slash local slash lib. Okay, uh, so that's uh, pretty nice here. So let's again try our compile command, see if we got any closer um, to our build. And now we're seeing 
Um, actually, that things are almost uh, set up and working, but we are missing our Mix library and our TTF library. Uh, so what's missing there? Well, this SDL2 config is missing the lib, so we need to link in SDL2 uh, TTF here. So if I hit enter here, we shouldn't see any TTF um, errors if I scroll through here just for our mixing library. We are missing the library. So let's go ahead and figure out how to install the mixer library. Um, so let me go ahead and just uh, go back to our uh, downloads and SDL2, and now we need to do the mixer. So we'll do mixer, and this is going to be essentially the same process where we run configure, make sure that we have everything installed on our system that is needed, any dependencies. We'll run make, I'll do another parallel build, and it's gonna happen quite fast. And then I'm gonna do sudo make install so that it installs on our system paths, all the libraries, it tells us where they've actually uh, been installed. Let's actually just look in there really quick because it's always nice to look. Um, and if I just list these out, you're gonna get uh, a bunch of libraries, but you can see where the actual mixer is, um, how it's spelled so that when you include it, it's just SDL2, all in uppercase, underscore mixer. You don't have to put a uh, lib in front uh, when you do things on the, the command line here. Um, so let me actually um, go back into our uh, timers uh, code and let's actually go ahead and rerun this uh, compile command. So again, G++, standard, C++. Uh, I'm doing this on a Mac, so this is just a little preprocessor definition that I'm sending in. You don't necessarily have to do this. Um, in fact, I think it'll work fine without it, uh, but I'm doing it just to delineate between my Linux build and my Mac build, my Windows one eventually the source files uh, that we are compiling in the source directory. We have our include path, and then we have our SDL2 config file with the libraries from our compiled build, the include files there. Then we need to link in the SDL2 TTF library, and now link in the SDL2 mixer library, as we can see here. So mixer. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. Um, and in this case, I have a a.out. Let me actually just rerun that one more time and specify the output directory as the bin folder and program. So let's just put in here. I'll hit enter just so it'll build there. That's how I like to do my uh, builds. Bin, program, folder. And if I hit enter here, you'll see that we have, well, our sample application ready to go. And that's really all there is to it. So now, um, again, this is on my Mac M1. This will work on your Intel machines, etc. And if you can build stuff from source, you don't have to wrestle with or depend on other folks to build these libraries for you. So it's kind of nice to have that all set. So that's it for this uh, lesson. I hope uh, it was useful for you and you now have uh, the ability to build your applications on Mac M1s and to do it all from source. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and are now able to compile SDL2 on your Apple M1s, Intel machines, Windows, Linux, Mac, if you're following along on any of those operating systems, and you should be good to go. If this was helpful, if this helped solve a long-standing problem for you on building your software, then please like or subscribe. Or otherwise, if your issues were not resolved, then leave a comment and we'll try to take care of them, or it'll let me know what video to make next to help you get programming in SDL2. Thanks for your time, folks, and we'll see you soon.